Hi, I'm Alex Steiner, and today we're going to go and meet one of my favorite YouTubers, Estée Lalon. We're going to have a little look at her wardrobe, her makeup sash, talk about her new book, Bloom, and of course, meet Reggie. Hello. Welcome to my living room. Oh my God, it's so bright. Yes. I love that. There's like literally windows everywhere. That's like my big thing because yeah. I get a little sad in the British weather sometimes. I mean, I hear that's a real you. thing. Yeah, no, absolutely. Sad. What inspires you? Like when you got this house, what? Where did you look? Like, did you look on websites? Did you? How did yeah. you find your inspiration? Well, I have to say, a lot of it is my boyfriend Aslan. He's really good at designing. Right. So, for instance, our table that we have right here, he designed it himself and he had it made, it's but beautiful. the entire idea was his own. He does have a bit of a creative vision that needs to get flushed out sometimes. So, I'm happy because it makes our house really unique and we have things that we both really love. Mm -hmm. But I have to have my little touches, you know, like I have to have my ceramics and my little pastel vases and stuff. No, so, I, I think our space is quite equal. It feels really Comfy, Thanks. but open. Let's get comfortable. So obviously I want to talk about your new book, yes. Bloom. I was really surprised in a pleasant way about how open you were. And I just wonder if that's something that as you were writing it, if that was something that you were kind of conscious about of how much you were going to open up. For me, the book was really a, a place to be open because you can only be so open in a 10 minute video, you know? Mm, I think probably something that, you know, the glamour readers and also your viewers will be interested in is the body image aspect. Because also that's something that resonates in my life. And I think a lot of, you know, girls go through that. I knew I was going to talk about it, but it was just about how I was going to talk about it. And when I was writing Bloom, I tried to reflect a lot and you know it's hard to kind of go back into those memories of you as a teenager mm. and feel those hard times that you went through but I really mm. mentally tried to do that. It's important to see that you know people do go through things mm. you know we went through things it actually made me feel made me remember things in my life and well, I think that's it's, the point yeah so we're gonna go and have a look at your closet yes we and are and your little makeup bits as yes well. let's go. I really want to know, how do you shop? So I do shop mostly online, but, 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 I'm, I had a little revelation. Shopping in real life is so good. Okay. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> I know okay. it seems crazy. That's a revelation. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I think you can be so much more inspired by things. Yeah. Like, for instance, this sweater. I swear I'm not just mentioning it because it's the bloom. The Bloom sweater. Okay. What am I doing? But I like what you've done there. <laughs> I no. didn't mean to. But I would never buy this, like, online. If you I'd, saw it in a picture. Never in a million years. But I saw it and I was like, okay, and I tried it on. I was like, I don't hate this. Can you tell us, like, some some bits here that you're loving, like, for autumn? Dressing for autumn is the best yes, season. Yes, my favorite. I love it. Mm. Um, so right now I'm especially loving this Isabel Morant blazer. Oh, it's a bell. It. Well, it's like a jacket blazer. Yes. You know? It's beautiful. So nice. She cuts so beautifully. And is there anything in your wardrobe that, you know, you literally have never worn? Yes, loads of things, but <laughs> this I've never worn. Tag still on it. <laughs> this is like a trouser and like shirt set, which looks insane. It's like very alien-y, but I still think it could be cool. You're looking at it so, like, don't no, worry, girl. I'm, no, I'm, not, I'm thinking, yeah, and I'm thinking, how long have you had it in your closet? Oh, like two or three years. Right, yeah. you're never gonna wear it, I know. Girl. I'll wear these like in the daytime or whatever. Love then, those trainers. I'll, I love like a pair of flats like these, which are a little more special. You know, you can kind of like tie them up. They have an interesting print. They're beautiful. A statement flat. Yeah. They're gorgeous. Thank They're you. gorgeous. I love yeah. these Gucci's. I love them as well. They are so Aslan nice. like hates them whenever Why? I wear them. I don't know. He just thinks they're really ugly, but I love them. I know they're not a boy. They're not a boy sexy kind of thing. Yeah. Shoe. Don't care. Okay, so this is where the real magic happens, Alex. I love it. This is where I come to be. Zen. I mean, can I just say, can I come and work here, please? Sure, anytime. I mean, <laughs> let's just open up the drawers, right? Please. <gasps> Do you want to open that one? Uh, this is my time to like really shine. 
<laughs> loads of stuff. Yeah. Tons of drawers. It's all filled, yeah. So basically when something new comes in or I buy something, yeah. I immediately put it in my, if, if it, I like the look of it, I'll put it in my everyday makeup drawers, which I know this is a lot of makeup for every day, but this is where no. I do my makeup. In right? our world, we get it. <laughs> right. You actually never look like you have makeup on. It's Perfect. not like people say to you, yeah. You look great, but people mm. don't say wouldn't say to you like you're caked. Yeah, I mean, no. I, that's an aesthetic that I quite love. <laughs> but you think? Did you think you used to wear more yeah, than oh, you definitely. do now? I used to wear like full coverage foundations, you know, stuff like that. So now I'm I don't. So know. talk to us about a few products that you really do care about. But the first thing I'm obsessed with is this. Oh my God, it's the best eyelash curler ever. It's Troy Seurat's eyelash curler. I've been dying to buy that one. I haven't bought it yet. Yeah, tell, tell buy me, it. I should buy it? <laughs> yeah. There you go, tip from It is day. so good, I love it. I love this brand, which I never know how to say, Elie Fa. How do you mm. say that? I say Elis Foss, Elis but I have Foss, no I idea either. I don't really know, it's like a very crazy contraption, but it's lipsticks and mm -hmm. lip products. So I love these, I think they're super cool and I love the packaging, yeah. I think that's really cool. Concealer, go to. Always by Terry. I love that one, is yeah. that Denseless? Yes, yeah. that's my favorite concealer. Only for under the eyes though. Yeah. Doesn't really cover like blemishes that well, but I love it for under the eyes. What blemishes? <laughs> they're there. Finally, I wanna ask you, can you, if you're gonna give some advice to some of the Glamour readers who are watching this, who yes. want to do what you do, mm -hmm. If you think back, you know, when you started, because you've been doing this for like six, over six years yeah. now, what are some little pieces of advice you would give them? I mean, the first thing is just start. Don't pay attention to what everyone else is doing. You can look at it and admire it, but just think about what would you want to read? What do you find interesting? And just kind of keep, you know, really in tune with that. That's very helpful. Thank you so much, Estee, for inviting us into your beautiful home. I want to move in. Thank you for coming. You can move in <laughs> temporarily. In the basement. <laughs> yeah. So thank you so much for coming. I had so much fun. For more cool videos like this, make sure you subscribe to Glamour UK.